these roadways are notorious for their intricate layouts, mind-boggling intersections, and bewildering signage that can leave even the most experienced drivers scratching their heads. From spiraling roundabouts to maze-like networks of intertwining lanes, these roads will challenge your sense of direction and test your navigational skills. So join me, we're gonna look at 15 of the most confusing roads in the world. Number 15, Shibuya Crossing. It's easily one of the most recognizable intersections in the world. Shibuya Crossing in Tokyo, Japan has been featured in what feels like every form of media. Known as the world's busiest intersection, Shibuya Crossing is a bustling hub of pedestrians, with an influx of people crossing from all directions simultaneously. During peak hours, as the traffic light turns red, the mass migration of pedestrians begins. It's estimated that up to 2,500 people cross the intersection at one time, creating a sea of humanity surging through the streets. So many people cross at a time that tourists flock to see the intersection, not even to cross, but to just watch. In a single day, the total number of people crossing here can reach absurd figures. Estimates suggest that approximately half a million people traverse that intersection on a daily basis. Driving through this chaotic maze of humanity requires nerves of steel and sharp reflexes, and it seems as though there's little room for patience. Once that opening presents itself, drivers need to carpe diem ASAP. Navigating through the sea of pedestrians, it demands extreme caution and vigilance, as jaywalking and unpredictable movements are all too common here. Driving through the Shibuya Crossing in Tokyo is an experience that defies conventional traffic norms and can be described as nothing short of insane. The sheer volume of people converging at this now iconic intersection is mind-melting. Number 14. The Road of Death When you look at a road map and see a route labeled the Road of Death, your first instinct is probably to steer clear, but for many, there's just no getting around it. And this road is as perilous as it is difficult to navigate. If drivers don't know what they're doing, then the road might live up to its name. Also known as the Yungas Road or Camino de las Yungas, this road in Bolivia is a treacherous and adrenaline-inducing route. It's a 40-mile stretch of highway connecting La Paz to Coroico, and it's gained a reputation as one of the most dangerous roads in the world for several reasons. First and foremost, the road of death is characterized by its extremely narrow and winding path, often with no guardrails or safety barriers. The road hugs the steep mountainside, with sheer cliffs dropping hundreds of feet below. Negotiating the hairpin turns and squeezing through the narrow sections requires precise driving skills and laser-like focus. Heavy rains can lead to landslides and mudslides, causing sections of the road to go from difficult to impassable, and sometimes even impossible. But the devilish road of death also suffers from a lack of consistent signage and markings. And combine that with all those buses and trucks and cars all vying for limited space in the ever-changing terrain, steep hills and blind turns, and you've got a recipe for one of the most difficult and bewildering roads in the world. Number 13. Spaghetti Junction Spaghetti Junction, located in Birmingham in England, is notorious for its complexity and the confusion it causes drivers. From above, it may look funny, but once drivers are in the thick of it, a heavy mix of fear and road rage sets in. The road is guaranteed to turn a commuter's face as red as a tomato, and this intricate road system, officially known as the Gravelly Hill Interchange, is a tangled web of flyovers, ramps, interchanges, zigzags, ups, downs, this and that ways, and can leave the most seasoned drivers cross-eyed and scratching their heads. On an average day, Spaghetti Junction sees a staggering number of vehicles pass through its maze-like structure. Estimates suggest that around 200,000 vehicles navigate it daily, making it one of the busiest road sections in the UK. Accidents are not uncommon on Spaghetti Junction, while efforts have been made to improve safety and reduce accidents through signage and lane markings. The sheer scale and intricacy of the interchange can still lead to fender benders, especially when new drivers to the area enter the fray. Numerous ramps, multiple levels, intricate merges, and timely lane changes require more attention than a normal human can afford to pay. Missing an exit or getting lost in this mess has become a rite of passage for many UK drivers. Successful navigation of Spaghetti Junction can feel like an award-winning experience, but make one bad move and you may just turn into meatballs. Number 12. The Huang Jue Wan Flyover No need to adjust your screens, what you're seeing is real, looking as though it's an MC Escher work come to life. The Huang Jue Wan Flyover is one of the most mind-blowing systems of roads in the world. 
To those unlucky motorists who hate driving, are bad at directions, or are running late, this flyover feels like an eternal punishment. This mismatch of lanes and ramps goes in eight different directions, but there is a method to this madness, as each layer seems to be stacked on top of the other one at a time. It opened in 2017 on the outskirts of Chongqing, a sprawling city in the southwest of China. The highest of the interchange's five levels soars 12 stories overhead, and the 20 lanes it has sends cars in what feels like every which direction. This asphalt labyrinth connects the city, the airport, and expressway, and the project was so grand it took eight years to complete. Presumably, it will make the traffic flow better for Chongqing's 8 million residents. Getting on this behemoth of a blacktop is impressive in its own right. Getting off at the right exit often proves to be challenging. Luckily, engineers and architects who took all of that into account when putting the flyover together, for anyone who misses their connection or gets on the wrong ramp, fear not. Drivers can find a turnaround just a half mile after the exit to help right their wrong. Number 11. The 405 Anyone who lives in California has surely come across the infamous Interstate 405 Highway. It's also known as San Diego Freeway. The 405 is a major highway in Southern California in the U.S. And while it is a crucial transportation artery, it is also notorious for its complexity and the obnoxious challenges it presents to drivers. Here's why the 405 is so damn tricky. First off, the 405 carries an exceptionally high volume of traffic. On average, it sees hundreds of thousands of vehicles traveling on it daily, either all going to work, coming home, running errands, or picking up the kids. This heavy congestion can lead to slower speeds, frequent lane changes, and increased difficulty, and also leads to the dreaded, yet expected, gridlock. The convoluted nexus of interchanges along the 405 only adds to the confusing nature. Interchanges like the one with the I-10 and I-110 can be particularly challenging, requiring quick decisions, precise lane changes, and a willingness to cut people off with no remorse. Plus, you've got those pesky drivers gunning straight for the coveted carpool lane, cutting across multiple lanes at a time. Accidents on the 405 are unfortunately not uncommon due to the heavy traffic and intricate road configuration. The California DOT and local law enforcement agencies actively work to improve safety, but at the end of the day, there's not much anyone can do about the sheer volume of the traffic, and that's always going to bring risks with it. The more cars on the road, the higher the odds of something going wrong. Navigating the 405 can be daunting, especially for newly christened drivers. Anyone unfamiliar with the area, and those who rely solely on GPS navigation, GPS may be nice, but even the AI isn't fast enough to keep up with the 405. It is essential to pay close attention to signage and lane markings because missing an exit or making an abrupt lane change can be common occurrences. Some exits are closely spaced together. Merging traffic can really ruin someone's day. Number 10. The Trollstigen Located in Norway, the Trollstigen is a breathtaking and awe-inspiring mountain road that is renowned for its beauty, unique engineering, and challenging driving conditions. While it offers a thrilling and memorable experience, it can also be a pretty confusing drive. It's also known as the Troll's Path. Trollstigen was built between 1916 and 1936. It stretches for approximately 12 miles, and it's known for its series of steep inclines, hairpin turns, and narrow sections. The Trollstigen is ready to troll new or bad drivers at a moment's notice. The road sees plenty of visitors, particularly during the summer months when tourists flock to explore the stunning Norwegian scenery. The drive here is worth it for several reasons. The road offers breathtaking views of lush green valleys, majestic waterfalls, and towering mountains. It provides a unique opportunity to experience Norway's natural beauty up close and witness the impressive engineering here. The road's narrow width and sharp turns can be challenging, especially for larger vehicles. It does require careful maneuvering, attention to oncoming traffic, and adherence to speed limits. Maybe even going a little slower, perhaps. One of the worst things that can happen when driving along the troll's path is a loss of control of the vehicle and the resulting accidents. There's not much room for miscalculation here, and one bad turn or hitting excessive speed can lead to a collision, not only with oncoming cars, but with barriers and the mountainside itself. Go too fast and drivers may even awaken the trolls, maybe. Additionally, adverse weather conditions such as heavy rain or snow can only make matters worse. It is easy to have a safe journey, but it's even easier to mess it up here. As long as drivers have their wits about them, put the phone down, and then play it cool, the troll's path is worth the Nordic confusion. Number 9. Kiki Roundabout 
also known as the Mombasa Malindi Road Roundabout. The Kiki Roundabout is a notable traffic intersection located in Mombasa in Kenya. This roundabout has gained a reputation for its complexity and some challenges it presents to drivers. One of the biggest factors contributing to the confusion at the Kiki Roundabout is its size and multiple entry points. The roundabout features numerous lanes and several access roads, creating an overly complicated nexus of intersecting paths. This system can make it more difficult for the best of drivers to figure out which lane is the right lane to use and which is the exit they need to get out of this mess. And if this is someone's first time going around the round and the Kiki roundabout, then forget about it. The lack of clear signage and lane markings further compounds the navigational challenges here. Inadequate or ambiguous signage can make it challenging for drivers to know where to get off or the correct lane to follow, leading to missed turns, abrupt lane changes, and potential accidents, and plenty of road rage, of course. The Kiki Roundabout, it's been a site of concern due to its high accident rate too. The insane nature of the roundabout, coupled with the heavy traffic and way too many layers of confusion, has led to collisions and near-miss incidents. The history of this roundabout is intertwined with the development and growth of Mombasa. It's been a vital intersection connecting the Mombasa-Malindi Road and other key routes in the region. Over the years, as traffic has increased, the roundabouts face challenges in accommodating the growing demands of the city's transportation. Efforts have been made to improve the situation here, but it still remains to be somewhat of a mess. Number 8. Epifanio de los Santos Avenue Epifanio de los Santos Avenue, or EDSA, is a major highway in Metro Manila in the Philippines, known for its significant traffic congestion and less-than-ideal driving conditions. EDSA has a rich history, dating back to the 1950s. It was named after Epifanio de los Santos, a Filipino historian and scholar. Initially, it was designed as a highway to accommodate the growing traffic in Manila, and it has since become one of the busiest and most congested roads in the country. One of the biggest reasons to avoid EDSA is its sheer size. It spans approximately 15 miles and consists of multiple lanes, interchanges, and exits. The street sees heavy traffic almost 24-7, and everyone is trying to change lanes at all times, it seems, sometimes for no reason at all. It's rough, and numerous points of entry and exit can make navigation challenging, especially for those unfamiliar with it. The worst thing that can happen on EDSA is a major traffic accident or collision, often resulting from reckless driving, overspeeding, or lane switching without proper caution. These accidents can lead to injuries and fatalities and always, always make those already severe traffic disruptions even worse. Breakdowns or vehicle malfunctions on EDSA can cause traffic bottlenecks and further exacerbate any congestion. Despite all the mind-melting confusion, the road still serves as a critical transportation artery in Metro Manila, connecting various cities and municipalities. It leads to important destinations like major commercial centers, residential areas, government offices, and major transportation hubs, including the Ninoy Aquino International Airport. Efforts to improve infrastructure and traffic management are always ongoing, but coming up with ways to solve all these problems is just as confusing as the drive itself. Moving on to number 7, the Pushi Viaduct Flyover. The Pushi Viaduct Flyover, also known as the Yan'an Elevated Road, is a major elevated expressway in Shanghai's Pushi area. This flyover is designed to alleviate traffic congestion and facilitate smoother movement of vehicles throughout the city. The history of it dates back to the late 1990s when Shanghai was experiencing rapid urban development and increased traffic demands. It was constructed to provide an elevated road network that connects important areas, including the city center and commercial districts. But it's also one of the most insane, most perplexing roads on the planet. Given the bustling nature of Shanghai and the Pushi area, this viaduct flyover experiences significant volumes of traffic each day. It features multiple interchanges and ramps, making it tough for drivers to navigate the all-too-many exits and entrances. This complex network of ramps and interchanges requires drivers to make timely lane changes and strategic decisions, which can cause a driver's brain to melt and pour out through their nose. It's no secret that Shanghai is one of the densest cities on the planet, and so the Pushi Viaduct flyover reflects the 25 million person population. The sheer volume of vehicles can add to this confusion too. Drivers need to contend with congestion and navigate through lanes occupied by numerous cars, buses, and trucks. And while it may sound silly, the presence of that many numerous buildings, signage, and distractions can make it challenging for drivers to focus on the road and navigate accurately. It's rubbernecking at its finest. 
But while the Pushy Viaduct flyover may feel near impossible to navigate, it serves as an essential purpose in accommodating the absurd amount of traffic here. But if there ever was a road where lane discipline was of the utmost importance, it's this one. Number 6. The Runway at the Gibraltar International Airport Wait a minute, why is an airport landed on this list of confusing roads? Well, the runway at Gibraltar International Airport is a unique and fascinating feature that makes it stand out from the other airports worldwide. More than the international giants like LAX and Denver International, the Gibraltar International Airport has something those airports don't, a runway that doubles as a road. Yep, the airport intersects with a major road, Winston Churchill Avenue. Whenever an aircraft needs to land or take off, the road is temporarily closed. Barriers are put in place to both protect vehicles and pedestrians. Now, while this concept may seem pretty crazy, the airport has stringent safety measures in place to ensure smooth operation and minimize any risks. The road closure and reopening are tightly controlled to maintain safety standards. But where else in the world can these two forms of transportation share the road? When the barriers are lower, drivers stop and wait until the aircraft completes its landing or takeoff. Local authorities and airport staff do diligently manage this process to avoid any mishaps or hazards. In terms of air traffic, Gibraltar International handles a moderate number of flights each day. While the exact figure may vary, it typically sees a mix of commercial, private, and military craft. It serves as a vital transportation hub for some of the local population and visitors to the region, supporting tourism and economic activities. Something like this, though, wouldn't work in most cities, but stopping for an airplane on the tarmac has become a rite of passage for drivers in Gibraltar. Number 5. The Nanpu Bridge Interchange Yet another confusing road in the heart of Shanghai, the Nanpu Bridge Interchange is widely renowned for its complexity and unique design, making it appear crazy to many observers. Then again, maybe renown is a poor choice of words. The Nampu Bridge Interchange is known for its intricate structure featuring multiple levels, ramps, and interchanges. It connects the elevated Yan'an Elevated Road with the ground-level Inner Ring Road, facilitating smoother traffic flow between these important routes. The bridge interchange is incredibly popular, leading to different districts and key areas within Shanghai, and it connects major roadways and highways, which extend throughout several districts of the city and feels kind of like a maze in its own right. The interchange involves numerous lane changes and merges, of course, requiring drivers to make quick decisions and navigate through heavy traffic. That's also when most of the accidents happen, which causes even longer slowdown. This is yet another road that reflects the city's ever-growing population, and oddly enough, though, the complicated swirl of an interchange is less than a mile long. It does, however, stand at 151 feet above ground. This height allows large vessels to pass beneath it while connecting the Puxi and Pudong areas of Shanghai. The roads ascend and descend in a continuous spiral pattern, creating a visually captivating effect, especially when viewed from above. But it's the spiral design that maximizes the use of space, minimizing the structure footprint and allowing for a more compact road system. Number 4. Magic Roundabout Now, despite the name, there's nothing magical about the Swindon. England's Magic Roundabout is renowned for its perplexing layout and often cited as one of the most confusing traffic intersections in the world. First introduced in 1972, the Magic Roundabout is a convoluted arrangement composed of five smaller roundabouts arranged in a circle. Yep, this roundabout is really five roundabouts all condensed into one strange package. Even when viewed from above, it's hard to find the magic in this roundabout. But despite the white-knuckle mayhem, there is a method to the madness. This unconventional five-in-one design allows for multiple entry and exit points. The roundabout connects several key roads, including County Road, Queen's Drive, and Drake's Way, providing access to various destinations within Swindon. But what makes this roundabout so confusing is the counterintuitive flow of traffic. Vehicles approaching this roundabout must navigate it in an anti-clockwise direction, circulating around the smaller roundabouts. The absence of a traditional single-lane roundabout layout combined with the need to make multiple lane changes leaves drivers confused, stumped, and constantly pumping the brakes in an attempt to crack the code. And if you suffer from motion sickness, then that may not be the best route home. Driving on this thing can be challenging at any given moment, but all bets are off during peak traffic time. The multiple entry and exit points coupled with the constant merging of lanes require fast reflexes and calls for quick decision making. One aggressive driver can ruin everyone's day, or be too offensive and you'll never get out of here. 
driving around and around for the rest of your days. While it may look intimidating and take some time for drivers to become used to navigating this roundabout, it ultimately facilitates efficient movement and reduces congestion. But with that said, there haven't been as many accidents here as one would think. Given the large amount of traffic that spins through the crossroads every day, it's an absolute miracle that there are not more accidents. During its decade-spanning history, there have only been 17 major accidents. So then maybe there is a bit of magic afoot within the lanes of the magic roundabout. Number 3. Jacob's Ladder In the book of Genesis, Jacob dreamt of a ladder that led up to heaven. While it may sound nice on paper, simply climbing a ladder to get to heaven, it usually is more arduous or nefarious. Such is the case with Jacob's Ladder in Tasmania, Australia. This particular road is notoriously deadly, yet perplexing. It offers many challenges as it does navigational mysteries. This Tasmanian road is a steep and winding section of a road located on the eastern side of Ben Lomond Mountain. The road's name is derived from its staircase-like appearance. With the series of hairpin turns and a steep incline, that can instill a sense of vertigo and trepidation in drivers. Sometimes it can even be difficult to see where the road leads. The history of Jacob's Ladder dates back to the early 1900s, when it was originally constructed as a pack horse track. Over time, it was transformed into a road to facilitate access to the summit. The road's construction required extensive engineering efforts to carve the path through the rugged mountain terrain, resulting in this challenging layout. One of the main reasons why Jacob's Ladder is considered such a bone-chilling and staggering road is that steep gradient. The road ascends at a sharp incline, with sections reaching grades of up to 28%. The steepness, combined with the winding nature of the road, can be beyond challenging for even the most seasoned of drivers. But if this is someone's first time tackling a hairpin turn, maybe it's best to turn back, because the road narrows to offer almost zero room for error. The road's challenging conditions, particularly during bad weather, can make it one of the most dangerous in the world. The absence of guardrails along certain sections of the roads adds to that danger. And while accidents on Jacob's Ladder have happened, fatalities are relatively rare, thankfully. Despite the intimidating reputation, many people choose to drive on Jacob's Ladder due to its scenic beauty and the allure of reaching the summit of Ben Lamont Mountain. The road provides access to stunning panoramic views, hiking trails, and even a ski field, attracting adventurous travelers for unique experiences and breathtaking landscapes. The only question one has to ask themselves is, is the danger worth it? Number 2. Mescal Square Mescal Square, located in the heart of Addis Ababa in Ethiopia, is a bustling intersection that has gained quite a reputation over the years thanks to its chaotic and confusing nature. Despite all of the craziness and mayhem, people continue to brave it. Close your eyes, imagine a symphony of honking horns, a whirlwind of colorful vehicles and a kaleidoscope of pedestrians weaving their way through a labyrinth of traffic. This is Mescal Square, where chaos meets creativity in the most entertaining way possible. This vibrant intersection is the beating heart of Addis Ababa, and it's unlike anything we've seen today. This square's history is as rich and diverse as the city itself. It's named after the Ethiopian religious festival, Mescal, which celebrates the discovery of the True Cross. The square has become an iconic landmark. Over time, it's evolved into a symbol here of spirit and resilience. While the traffic in Mescal Square may seem like a mind-boggling puzzle with no solution, it's precisely this element of confusion that makes it so captivating. It's easy to ask the question, why would anyone willingly drive on such a crazy road? Well, because Mescal Square is more than just a means of getting from point A to point B. It's an experience, an adventure, and a testament to the vibrant energy of the city, as long as they're a good driver, that is. If Addis Ababa were the heart of the region, the roads of Mescal Square would be the veins, and the motorists and pedestrians would be the lifeblood. And one can't forget about the shared camaraderie among drivers as they navigate this confusing dance of wheels. Getting out of here in one piece is a rite of passage, and the successful ones all join an unspoken fraternity. There are many languages spoken in Ethiopia, but the language of Mesco Square is honking. Newcomers may find themselves scratching their heads, trying to decipher the unwritten rules of the road in Mesco Square. But that's the beauty of it, there are no rules. And yet somehow everyone seems to understand this unspoken code of conduct. Even though it feels as if it's being rewritten from moment to moment, it's organized chaos. A symphony of destruction that, if not played carefully, leaves you to rust in pieces. Number 1. Arc de Triomphe Roundabout 
The Arc de Triomphe roundabout, nestled at the western end of the Champs-Élysées in Paris, is one of the most iconic and recognizable places in the world. Thanks to its chaotic nature, this roundabout never fails to leave a lasting impression. It's even graced the silver screen in several blockbuster movies, from action-packed car chases in Ronin to romantic strolls in Midnight in Paris. It's a famous intersection, and it set the stage for countless cinematic moments. But like every good piece of art, the Arc de Triomphe roundabout can cause great suffering to anyone involved. A swirling vortex of cars, buses, scooters, and bicycles converge from 12 different avenues. Drivers don't need to know French to make it through this nexus of worlds. All they need is a lead foot, a good horn, and some well-timed assertive maneuvers to be understood. The absence of visible lane markings adds to the confusion, turning this circular maze into a tornado of traffic. But aside for the puns, it's also hard not to marvel at the archway itself. This architectural masterpiece was commissioned by none other than Napoleon Bonaparte himself, honoring the triumphs of the French army. Construction began in 1806, and it took over 30 years to complete. Today, it stands as a symbol of national pride and a tribute to French history and culture. It's not just a traffic hub, it's a symbol of unity and a meeting point where the past converges with the present. Vehicles twist around a monument as if they were mimicking the energy and movements of the city itself. The street comes alive here. Just like life itself, there's plenty of confusion to be had. But come on, who in their right mind, though, would willingly partake in the anarchy of the Arc? Well, the answer lies in the allure of Paris itself. Just ask the hundreds of locals who use it to get home, to work, or even to the store, and the hundreds of thousands of visitors and tourists who flock from far and wide to catch a glimpse of the iconic set piece. Life is chaos, and so the Arc de Triomphe roundabout perfectly embodies how sometimes our day-to-day -day lives make little to no sense. Sometimes we're going around in circles to no end. But if you pay attention at the right moment, you'll find where you need to be. I'll see you next time. Thank you to our channel members. 